What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video I will be revealing and explaining in details how you can possibly earn $100 to $5,000 passively online from Google. For those watching my video for the first time, you are highly welcome. Without wasting much of your time, let dive right into the video. I'm sure you might be wondering what the term passive or passive income means. Passive income allows you to earn money with minimal effort, basically you earn while you're asleep, on a vacation, or even doing something else. Now here is the big question, how can one earn money via Google? I'm sure many of you have heard about the word Google AdMob. So for those who doesn't know what Google AdMob is all about, and how can one earn money from it? I want you to stick to this video as I will be explaining deeply what it all about, and also a few of my experience. AdMob provides a way for Google to help app developers earn more money from their apps. AdMob works by matching ads to your app, based on criteria you set. The ads are created and paid for by advertisers who want to promote their products. While many I are thriving hard to put up a proper content app, I see many claiming and paying to get a self-clicking app. Truth be told, those app and process doesn't work. Yes it might at once worked out, but now it doesn't especially with Google AdMob. By so doing you will get your account banned. Moreover you can't call self-clicking method passive. From my experience here are what you need to do to earn passively from AdMob without getting banned or worrying about putting your account at risk. 1. Creating a well your content app. Remember when you're creating an app you need to understand that you won't be the one to download and use the app. Meaning you need to create an app that will be useful to your audience or that will solve your audience needs. I see people converting people's website into apps with the help of some website to app converting platform like App Creator 24. Yes I've once done that, and I will put it to you, that you're totally doing it wrongly with the high risks involved. Most time you might earn up converting people's website to app that has already been monetized by AdSense or affiliate product which in turn you tend to drive more traffic to the person's website that will end up making him or her 10 times his or her monthly revenue if truly the app ends up having more download and second the app creator 24 take almost 60% of your revenue from the ads display on the app cause there do put up their ads as well. So I will advise you to either pay a good and professional app developer to get you a good content app, or better still you can decide to learn some programming. Definitely it will take time, but it worth it too. Do a proper app search optimization research. This will help your app growth and as well generate you more income. 3. Upload your app to any app store. Example Google Play Store. 4. Sharing your app to different social media platform and forums to get more audience. Sometimes it advise your rum a profitable ads to your app so as to get more audience. Many do ask if they can earn from AdMob without publishing on the Play Store. You can place AdMob ads in your app without publishing it on Play Store. But I can't guarantee whether you will be able to earn enough as you won't be having much users using the app. Play Store is a source from where the people can download your app. And if you're not uploading it on Play Store, your app won't get much exposure towards the public. Though there are lots of Play Store alternatives such as Amazon App Store, Aptoid etc., you can search for more on Google, where you can publish your app and make it visible for the public to download your app. But as you know Play Store is very popular among Android users, and the chances of your app getting downloaded through different app stores is very difficult. Because first of all, people don't use those app stores much, and secondly there are always trust issues while downloading apps from such app stores. Plus you will need to do aggressive marketing about your app once you have published it on a third-party app stores. You've to be very unique while you share your app on various social media sites which will drive people to download your app. I'll still recommend you to publish your app on Play Store, yes I can understand about that one-time payment of $25, but still have a try as people find Play Store to be more convenient and trustworthy. And it helps AdMob optimize and monitor your app well, so they will understand that your app traffic are legit. Thank you as we have come to the end of this session. Use the comment session and tell me what ads network you prefer apart from AdMob. See you in my next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Peace.